Hi, I feel very responsible for posting about spiders and creepy crawlies on Facebook today. So I've decided to do a live on Facebook and we're going to tap on our irrational fear of little beings that creep and crawl everywhere. So let's just start as soon as we go, because I know for some people it's really quite a serious um, issue. Um, and I know it's something that a lot of people feel they can't control. So just let's start tapping just now, just because even thinking about it, and I, I know earlier in the day when I posted um, a couple of pictures, I, I did get quite a quick response um, from, from one person in particular. So let's just start tapping, even though, and speak along with me, repeat everything I say, even though just thinking about spiders makes me absolutely shudder, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though the thought of creepy crawlies or a mouse running across the floor, you choose whichever beastie it is for you, I love and accept myself. And again, the balanced statement can be for you as well. I deeply love and accept myself, or I love and accept myself, or I accept myself. It's up to you, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Even though, the third time, even though just thinking about tapping about spiders gives me the heebie-jeebies, I love and accept myself. And then we'll go around the spot, the points. Just, just thinking about it. Just thinking about spiders. Just thinking about tapping about them. Oh, I can feel just the reaction right in there. Just thinking about the possibility of tapping about spiders. Or daddy long legs or a mouse running across the floor in my house just the thought of those things give me a shudder just the thought of it just the thought about coming to tap just thinking about them makes me shudder just thinking about it So I hope that's brought some people down a wee bit already. But just let's take a moment and you picture whatever your beastie is, whether it's a spider, whether it's a mouse, a rat, a slithery snake. I'm not sure if I can cope with comments, but if you can, if you want to add comments as we go, please do. So um, thinking about, let's focus on the spider just now. And I know that recently um, I had visitors in the house and they saw a big spider and it was the way the spider moved across the curtain. So let's just go with that, even though they move so fast, they move so quickly, you can hardly see where they're going. I love and accept myself, even though they move so fast, they move so quickly, I don't know where they're going next. I deeply love and accept myself, even though they just appear and they move so fast. I deeply love and accept myself. It's just the speed. It's the speed, the way they move. You don't know where they're going next. I don't know where they're going to appear. And they go so fast, just so fast. They move so quickly. They move so fast. And they just suddenly appear and then they disappear and you don't know where they are and it all happens so fast. It, they move so quickly. Now for some people when you start thinking about whether it's a spider, the, the creepy crawly, whatever it is, 
you might find that actually you have a reaction inside you, like a, a tightening or your heart starts to go fast. And if you're, if, if you're watching just now and you want to share that, um, we could tap on that specific thing. But for right now, I'm just going to keep going with some of the things that I think can make people a wee bit on edge about these wee beasties and how we can have a completely irrational fear. Um, the reason that I did this was I thought, I know that as a granny and as a mum, I've tried very hard not to, um, not to really inflict my fear and my irrational fear on my children and grandchildren. So if we can deal with our stuff, then we can support them with theirs. But you can tap with them too if they have um, taken on board some of your um, fears along the way. So let's stay with spiders. The way they quickly move. Just check in with yourself. Just how, what else is it? Hairy legs, hairy little legs on the spiders, I know it can be a bit, um, a bit much. So think about those, zero to 10. How are you feeling about spiders right now? Imagine if you suddenly looked up and there was a spider right across your wall right now. In that moment, in this moment, right now, imagine how you're, fe how you're feeling, if, you'd, if you saw it, how are you feeling about it right now? Just thinking about the possibility of it. I'm actually not too bad myself personally, because I'm not very, I'm not that, I don't, I'm not bothered about spiders, but I know mice, maybe I might get a little bit fluttered. If I, if I saw a mouse right now, I'd probably be at a six. So I'm going to tap with that, even though it's the way they dart. It's the way they dart under things. It just, yeah, I, I just feel that right across me here. I love and accept myself, even though it's the way they dart everywhere and I don't know where they're going next. And I can feel it right across my shoulders. I deeply love and accept myself, even though I just don't know where they're going to dart next. I'm not in control. I don't know where they're going. I deeply love and accept myself. It's the way they dart. They dart across the floor. Then I don't know where they are. Then they can pop out again. And I don't know when it's going to happen next. It's the uncertainty of it. Just not knowing what, where they're going to appear. Don't know what they're going to do next. Just not knowing what's going to happen next. And then they'll dart and they'll suddenly appear. It's the suddenness. It's the suddenness and not knowing what's going to happen next. Just check in. Where are you feeling right now if you were to see a spider go across your wall, if you were to see a mouse suddenly appear? What would it be? I'm actually feeling a lot better. Let's just take a breath. Just check in. Just check in with your body. Just check in with your breathing. And imagine that creature. Suddenly, if you open your eyes and right across your laptop or right beside your phone, there is a spider. There's that feeling, that sudden feeling. Even though there's that feeling of panic, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I've got that feeling of panic in my chest, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though there's a feeling of panic, just seeing it, I just have that feeling of panic, but I love and accept myself. 
just sort of panic feeling right in my chest, right there. A panic feeling, panic feeling right there. A panic feeling. Just seeing it crawling across. There's a panic feeling. It's a panic feeling. Now we'll all have different reactions, we'll all have different feelings, but this is how you can um, begin to tease out or peel the onion layer of what it is about these beasties that give you the heebie-jeebies. Um, so just always go through the reason, find the negative. It's their um, fluffy fluffiness, it's their long legs, it's their long tail, whatever it is, it's that, it's that little, that's that long tail. And that made me kind of shudder. So just tap on it, even though it's the long tail. I deeply love and accept myself. And then you would repeat it three times and then take that and say, you know, long tail, long thin tail and go around each of the points, which is the crown, the top of the nose there that where the eyebrow meets out to the temple and always just referring to that negative underneath the eye, the same underneath the nose, underneath the lip the collarbone, or sort of across the collarbone, and then underneath the armpit about four inches or where the brass strap is. And then once you've finished that, release and just check in with where you are. At the end of every round, just check in zero to 10. Zero is chilled, calm, couldn't care how many spiders I saw or snakes or mice, wherever. Zero. Ten is I'm out the door because I just don't want to be here. So hopefully you're somewhere in the middle. That's just a little introduction to how you could use EFT to begin to get rid of um, uh, your sort of irrational feelings about wee beasties. So I hope it's helped a wee bit. Um, if you've got any questions or you'd like some more information, then just get in touch. Okay, so I hope now that you are completely spider free this evening, that you're completely mouse free and everything else. Okay, have a good night.